Here's today's In Touch devotion. Today's scripture reading begins in verse 13 of 1 Peter chapter 3. Who is there to harm you if you prove zealous for what is good? But even if you should suffer for the sake of righteousness, you are blessed. And do not fear their intimidation, and do not be troubled, but sanctify Christ as Lord in your hearts, always being ready to make a defense to everyone who asks you to give an account for the hope that is in you, yet with gentleness and reverence. And keep a good conscience, so that in the thing in which you are slandered, those who revile your good behavior in Christ will be put to shame. For it is better, if God should will it so, that you suffer for doing what is right rather than for doing what is wrong. For Christ also died for sins once for all, the just for the unjust, so that He might bring us to God, having been put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the Spirit. For believers in Jesus Christ, the condition of lost humanity ought to be both sobering and motivating. Ephesians 2 verse 12 says, We were separate from Christ, having no hope and without God in the world. Is there anything worse than this? But apart from a relationship with God through His Son, there is no eternal hope. Jesus came into the world to take the punishment for sin and die the death that we deserved. In doing so, He satisfied God's demand for justice, thereby removing the guilt and condemnation of everyone who believes in the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior. The result is that those who were formerly far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Now, we who have received this hope are called to share it with others. So if we expect people to learn that Jesus is the only hope, we have to tell them. As Peter points out, this assignment may not always be easy because some people are hostile to our message. Yet we are called to give an account for the hope that is in us with gentleness and reverence. Our witness for Jesus Christ should be evident in both our words and actions. As we cooperate with the Holy Spirit's work of renewing our mind with the Word of God, our attitudes and behavior become increasingly Christ-like. And that's a powerful witness to a world without hope. Christ offers a transformed life now, as well as the promise of eternal life for all who will come to Him in repentance and faith. So let's share our hope. 